Hey, you. All right, you know, screw this thing. You saw nothing, okay? Sometimes the light plays tricks. Makes a statue look like it's seeping blood, but it's all just in your head. I know a bleeding statue when I you see know one. Nothing. Hey, what's going on here with you all? How's it going? Oh, hi, Reese! Things are going great! Did you just say Reese? Nothing! I could have swore you said Reese. Isn't that the name of the dead guy they picked up on Pandora? I'm Vasquez, not Reese. What a stupid robot, am I right? Yeah, based on what I saw upstairs, she's not the brightest tool in the shed. That doesn't make sense. Quiet! So what is it that I can help you with, Mr. Vasquez? Because if it's related to the incident upstairs, this is all under control. Just another case of vandalism on the Handsome Jack tour. That's confidential information that I can't divulge. Just hand over the prisoners and stay out of the way. I don't understand. You know, you must not be a big fan of having a job. Questioning one of your superiors like this. No, it's not that. It's just strange is all. What's strange is that you're still standing here. How about you go take an early lunch and I'll try and forget this insubordination. Or would you rather I just fire you on the spot? Leave me now, sir. Nice job. Hey, Gordas, just so you know, I, I, I didn't mean that. I was just acting. I know! You were acting me. It's okay. Why is my heart breaking right now? So, what is this plan, exactly? I found out about a trap door that leads to Jack's office. We just gotta figure out a way up. So I'm guessing the plan doesn't involve you getting most by a death machine? No, that's... that's a problem. How can we help? By figuring out a way to shut that thing off so I can get up there. Then I pull you up on the comm so you can identify the piece. Sounds like a plan. Wait! We gotta go up that scary dark hole? I think Reese is the only one scrawny. Hey, Gordis, you, uh, you wanna go first? Huh? Yeah? No, thank you! Well, aren't robots supposed to obey orders or something? Seems like a fun place, huh? No wonder you're single. I was joking. That's what I meant. So, Fiona, I need you to hold this while Gordas boosts me up. Don't worry about hurting me. Just climb on up. Well, I guess it's tough to hurt someone made of metal. Oh, no. This is excruciatingly painful. But hey, I'm a team player. Reese wouldn't let us down. Oh, you haven't been around him as long as I have. You know, Fiona, sometimes you just gotta trust people. That hasn't worked out for me so far. Well, maybe this time is different. Alright, Gordis, just give me a little boost up there. No problem! Hurry up, Reese! Okay! Oh! <laughs> How was that? Better than I could have expected. Thanks. No problem! Try not to die. Reese, you all right? Nope. Good thing I got that puking out of my system. Maybe we should step away. Reese, you can do it. Climbing with your cyber arm should be easy. Easy, right? <laughs> Stupid, nice robot. You heard her. Climb, climb.
You've got some impeccable timing. Hey, I don't know when you gave them the slip, but Finch and Kroger are out there looking for you, and things are gonna get messy if you start messing with us. Don't forget what's on the line here. You get us what we want, what we agreed to, and no one has to get hurt. Dude, I am in the middle of something. I'm gonna have to call you back. What? Listen to me, you... God, so dramatic about everything. Check you out, you made it! In the end, we make a pretty good team, huh? I mean, we had our differences, but we got here. My office. Well, uh, our office now. Go ahead, bask in it for a second. No screaming psychos, no corporate mooks, just a kick ass office and a ton of power at your fingertips. Wow. I used to dream about being here. Anyway, where's the Gordis Beacon? Uh, it's gotta be over there somewhere. It's where all the corporate warfare fallout is. Ton of Atlas crap. Soak it in, kid. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, there's really no rush here. Just take it easy. Help us. Where the guns are cold, the women are warm, and butt slams are your primary method of communication. Gotta love it. A scarred, once upon a time sane moon. Yeah, a lot of people said similar things about me. Except, uh, for the scarred moon thing. That'd be weird. Hey, there's my man. What's on your mind? So, what's the point of this office? I mean, from what I read, you spent most of your time running around Elpis or Pandora. Yeah, but it's always nice to have somewhere we can just kick back. Put up your feet, fend some subordinates out in airlock. You know, it's like I always say. Home is where your airlock collection of valuables is. A desk do anything cool? <laughs> yeah, you'll see. I mean, not in a, in a threatening, I'm gonna kill you way, but more like a, I'm gonna show you in a bit and it'll be awesome. Got it way. You build this office yourself? Ha! <laughs> Did I build it? No. No, 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 no. Jack doesn't do that. Anyway. I think I'm just gonna take a look around. That's a spirit. What is this? Ah, it's a piece from an early immortality suit prototype, but it, uh, killed the subject. Which is great, but just not what we're going for. Who's this? Oh, uh, yeah, that's my angel. Don't usually like people knowing about her, but you and me are pretty tight. Once we're done with all this vault stuff, I'd like to check up on her. That's cool. Welcome to my trophy case. Huh? Got a couple of killer relics. A few artifacts. Oh, there's a stock certificate signifying that I own Atlas. That's pretty freaking cool. Nothing feels better than crushing a company's value to the point where you can buy all their shares with pocket change. <sighs> it's delish. Gordis, you there? Uh, hi. Okay, uh, so I'm gonna show you the pieces now. You let me know which one it is, all right? Okie dokie. Cowgirl! Yeah, I don't, uh, have a cowboy hat. Uh, that was my 
girlfriend's hot. Well, her first one before she became a sexy badass sheriff type chick. <laughs> he suited her. Definitely not. Oh, this. This shotgun. It's legend freaking dairy. <laughs> Hyperion named it the conference call because you're going to want to call everyone to tell them how awesome it is. <laughs> then you kill them. Go team, yeah. <laughs> Belong to the jackass Earl Tassiter, my former boss. I like to keep that around as a reminder of what happens when you act like a dick to me. I wonder what I'll become. Yeah, that's it. That's the one. The U-shaped thing with the little spear. Great. I'll be down there in a minute. Okay. See you soon. Not much to look at. Okay, here we go. The big seat is all yours. You trigger the trap door from there. And with that Gordon. Feels good. That'd be the contact activated dopamine injectors. You look like somebody who could kill a bunch of people with a phone call and a little bit of bass in your voice. So tell me how to trigger the trap door. It's behind your pinky. This could be our last chance to chat, you and I. For years, I ruled Hyperion from this room. And now you're here, where it all started. How's it feel, kiddo? There's something to be said for a cushy chair with a bunch of big important buttons that can raise hellfire on people. It's good to be the king. I knew there was a reason we got along so well, kid. You get it. But say, we shared the power I had when I sat in this room. What would you do with it? What the hell is taking him so long? Reese, the machine is off. Did you get the beacon? We're ready for you. All good. Just getting into position. Oh! Someone is here! Hey! Oh, it's you! How are you doing? Gordas, come back over here. Wow! You're all telling me to do the same thing! What are the odds of that? We could wield Hyperion's might together. How would you rule? Hypothetical, of course. But still, you gotta know what you want if you're gonna make it, kid. Like I told you after we escaped Old Haven. Remember? Oh, you know, have nice things, settle down, not have to avoid being murdered every eight seconds. Oh, please, if we ran Hyperion, you'd get all that stuff in the first 48 hours. Oh, and when it comes to women, what I want is for you to not play slap-ass with the people I care about. With my hand. What? It, oh, you mean the Sasha chick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, sorry about that. But imagine, Reese, if it wasn't hypothetical. You ever wonder why Nakayama created me? This whole AI thing? I was supposed to find a worthy successor to the Hyperion throne. 
And that successor, Reese, is you. If you join me, we could rule together. What do you say, kid? This is the only room with the override port, so if you don't jack in now, you'll never get another shot. I'd say there's no rush, but, uh... <laughs> yes. Yeah? Yeah. Let's do it. Yes! You! You are my favorite dude! So what's next? There it is. That's the executive override port. Jack in, and this will all be yours. Jack in, you get it? Big moment for us, kiddo. Been a long time coming. That's it. <laughs> Here it comes. Reese, the machine is off. Did you get the beacon? We're ready for you. All good. Just getting into position. Oh, she's gonna be so surprised when she sees the two of us running high period. And she doesn't even know I exist. That's... Oh, God. It's, it's priceless. So... Is that it? Are we done? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, it feels good to get out of there. Road trip's over, Reese. We made it. So, what happens now? Oh, you? You're getting a huge promotion, pal. And since I'm in the system now, allow me to do the honors. Hey, friends. Remember me? It's your old pal, Jack. Well, pencils down, amigos. I've got someone to introduce you to. There's a new president in town. That's right, baby. Get those hands a clapping, because I want to give them. Special Hyperion welcome to the chiefiest of executives. Totally president material. All the way from janitorial. This can't be happening. Reese! Wait, so this is actually mine. This this is mine to control. Take it in, Reese. Hyperion, Pandora, help us. Oh, they are just the start. We'll rule this entire freaking universe. You and me, kiddo. President Reese and handsome. Goddamn Jack. Ah!